Richard Butler from 12minuteguides.com. I'd like to welcome you to this uh, presentation called Powerful PowerPoint Presentations. This is the first video which will um, familiarize you with how Office 2007 works, a couple of the differences, and specifically how to start and create a simple PowerPoint presentation. Now, I'm going to assume that you haven't used um, an Office application before specifically an Office 2000 application. So what you're going to see is the screen is quite different. What we're used to from previous versions of Office were menus that dropped down extra options here. We were used to a standard toolbar and maybe a formatting toolbar. And what they've done with all Office 2000 applications is that they now have a ribbon. So instead of these being menus, this is the home ribbon, this is the insert ribbon, this is the design ribbon. And under each ribbon, you have icons of all the most common functions. Home is the one that you're going to use the most. Um, and you'll see that you have all your standard functions of bold, italics, underline, font, uh, font size, center, left, right, etc. So just having a look, we have the insert ribbon. We have the design ribbon, the animations, and the slideshow ribbon. These are the main ones we're going to use, and the view ribbon. So let's start off with a simple presentation, and this is going to be called How to Use PowerPoint. Now, the first slide that we always use is one called a title slide, and it's given that name because it's usually shown as the title of your presentation or at the start of your presentation. And where it says click to add title, you click to add a title, which in this case is how to use PowerPoint. And click to add subtitle. I always recommend my clients to type in, say, something like presented by and your particular name. So once we've done that, we can click on the new slide icon here, which will give us the default um, next slide, which is a title and content. Or we can click on the down arrow beside new slide and choose title and content. With, you see that there's a number of different types of content slides that you can actually create. By and large, this one will do everything that you need. So we'll click on this. The second slide should introduce your um, audience to what you're actually going to talk about. So topics to be covered is usually one that I would use. You may decide to capitalize each word there. And then you click to add text. And these are bulleted points. So we're going to set up a simple presentation. What is PowerPoint? What can it do? Do's and don'ts. PowerPoint. Okay. Each one of these titles, our bulleted points, now becomes a new slide for us. So we're going to add in an extra three slides one at a time. On the left hand side here, I have a miniature version of my slides, and I can click on any slide to go to that slide. Now I need to make sure that I've clicked on slide 2. I click on the insert new slide icon and a new slide comes up underneath. So my first title was what is PowerPoint. So I bring this over to here. And then I put in bulleted points. So presentation program. On screen. Printouts. Uh, Okay, use widely in business. So what I would do is I just put out my bulleted points here, and these are used as prompts for me so that I know what I'm going to talk about. I don't put every single last detail of what I'm going to talk about on each slide. I only put short sentences or keywords like I have done here. So I go back to my slide two. I see what can it do is the next slide I want. So before I insert a slide, I make sure that I click on slide three. I go into new slide and I type in the title. What can it do? Okay. What can it do? Well, it can have on screen presentations. Print out slides, which are, if I wanted to print out slides, I would get one slide per page. 
So if I had a 40 page presentation, I would get 40 slides printed out. I can print out handouts for my audience. And what these handouts will be, well, I can choose to have um, three slides per page or up to nine or 12 slides per page. Now that makes it a little bit cramped, but we'll see each of those options. I can print out notes, which are for the speaker. And that prints out one small slide per page with any notes that you may have added down here where it says click to add notes. And then I can print out an outline view, which is only text and no graphics. So that just saves on the amount that I print out, and it just gives me an overview of every single slide. Now, my last um, topic to be covered is do's and don'ts of PowerPoint. So I click on slide four again, I go into new slide, and I type in do's and don'ts of PowerPoint. And I might just capitalize that A there. So, do have short sentences. Do, now look at that. See, there's a spelling mistake there. If I right click over that, I just click on sentences. So, have short sentences. Make it interesting. Um, expand on each slide. So, I expand whatever I put on each slide. Now let's put in some don'ts. Okay. Oops, a daisy. So don'ts. Um, no large sections of text. Not too many bells and whistles. Okay. And what else can we do? Um, so really don't overdo it, no large sections of the text. That's what that that's the, the main points that I would actually say. So let's say this simple presentation that we're going to be working on. I go up to the office button, I choose save as, and I have a number of options here. I have PowerPoint presentation, which is a native 2007 presentation, which can only be opened up by other computers running 2007. I can save it as a PowerPoint show, which will allow me to open up the PowerPoint presentation straight away without having to open up uh, through PowerPoint. If I'm going to share this with people who don't have PowerPoint 2007, I save it as a 97-2003 presentation. I can save it as an open document, which we will discuss at a later date, as a PDF, which means I could email my presentation and anybody with any type of device that has Adobe Reader on it will be able to open it up, or as other formats. And if I click other formats, I can actually choose a format here from save as type on the right hand side. I could save this as any one of these particular formats. I could save a slide as a graphic, or I could save it as an outline RTF, which is often asked in some um, computer exams. So for the moment, I'm going to save it as a PowerPoint presentation. It automatically takes the title of the um, the, the text from the title slide as the actual title of the PowerPoint presentation. That's okay. I click on save and that's saved. Now, in the next video, what I'm going to show you is how to change the look and feel of your PowerPoint presentation. Because at the moment, it is simply white background uh, with black text, which is rather boring. This is Richard Butler of 12minuteguides.com.